All right, what's going on? So uh, my name is JX Fu. Uh, I am also known as Casey. I run this YouTube channel currently full of both pretty much reaction videos. So on um, during the day, I'm a product manager, but during the night, I'm also a part-time light novelist slash author. So that's one kind of kind of you know being occupied with. But I'm also creating YouTube videos. So today we are coming back with another reaction video, a very stupid, silly reaction video. I've done a lot of pretty stupid reaction videos by this point this one adds to the list today we are going to react i'm not going to watch the full track length but we're going to react to i think we're going to count here 11 10 or 11 different rainbow road soundtracks uh starting all the way from the old snes um mario kart super mario kart all the way until mario kart 8 the remakes um we're going to dive right into it today we're going to put listen to about maybe half a minute to a full minute throw every different track into a tier list 11 different tracks we're going to be listening to which means we don't need that many tier list rows so i reduced the number of rows to just four um s obviously for the best iconic soundtracks as well as and then c for just like meh like it's not really that like you wouldn't listen to that that often you you know it's you, it kind of resonates a little with you a little bit but it's not anything special so that's kind of how i'm gonna do it um we're going to do and this is a big disclaimer this is completely subjective based on my opinion um how i've played the games throughout the years you can have a completely different opinion definitely do add your com uh, comments down below what you think if you disagree or if you agree with me and finally most of this tier list um and my decisions are going to be heavily weighed upon the music, the melody, the kind of feel that you get while you actually do play in Rainbow Road, while you do uh, race your cart. That's kind of the whole ideal. Uh, like, does this theme really fit the stage and the kind of the overall track that you're playing in? That's kind of the idea here. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into it. And we're going to start off with good old Super Mario Kart SNES. Let's go. So, this is a pretty iconic theme. It's whether or not this theme is really that catchy and you feel like it's really fitting of a Rainbow Road theme. It's really high quality and perfect for its time though. I love that part. Okay, I don't think it repeats there, but we're gonna stop there at the minute mark. So, um, honestly, the thing is, I don't know if this melody is my favorite per se, like the main melody of this track, but for its time on the Super Nintendo, like it's really good. <laughs> This track was so hard when I played it. it. Like, I kept falling off every 20 seconds or so. I don't know how people would have played it back in the day, but it's a very interesting theme, I would say the least. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite personally. I feel that for Rainbow Road, you know, it's not just, you know, the end of the kind of final, it's not just the final race, but it's a very, you know, feel good, reflect back, like you've made it this far, you're on top of the world, you're over the world, inside the space on this beautiful rainbow track. This is the kind of celebration you should be taking, and this is the final victory lap you should be taking. Big reflection on how far you came. That's the kind of Rainbow Road theme that I'm looking for in the track that corresponds with it. And I feel that, you know, for its time, it's pretty good. I would throw this probably into B tier ish, um, just simply because. Yeah, like a low, low B tier, high C tier, like low B, simply because for me, it's not like. If this was all it was, then yeah, it was great, right? Like, it'd be more memorable. But the problem is, there are just so many good Rainbow Road tracks that follow it. So we're going to continue on. All right, next up is we're going to hit Super... We're going to hit Mario Kart 64. And this, I'm just going to say this right now. I already know I'm probably going to... What tier this is probably going to go into. Um, But we'll say that until the end. This is where the main really beautiful late motif that has became just iconic attached 
to the Mario Kart Rainbow Road brand. Um, the mel the main melody that just gets repeated in various different remakes you'll hear. Let's go. And if I remember, this was an incredibly long track. Like, I remember you had to do like three laughs for this, so they shortened this up in the remake in Mario Kart 8. Da, 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 I'm getting shivers. I'm getting goosebumps listening to this melody um, uh, this main melody. It's that good. Yeah, I I'm gonna stop there. I'm sorry. I like I already know this is where this is going. This is S tier. This is a low S tier. I don't know if this is like the highest S tier I'll put it in, but this is like high A tier, low S tier sort of thing. Let's put this high A tier for now, actually. And then at the very end, we'll decide what's the true S tier soundtracks. Because this is really good. I don't want to have, you know, the crazy early bias, though. So well, let's listen to all the tracks first before we decide on the king. Next up, uh, Super Mario Kart from... Sorry, Super Circuit. Uh, from Mario Kart Super Circuit, sorry. For the GBA. Oh, it gets so good here. All right, uh, we're, I think we yeah we don't don't want to go past the minute mark. So that was that was very good. Um, again, like I really like it how when the beat drops, like da 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 da, like the main melody when it starts there, that's when you can kind of get a bit of a chill feeling. It's a, also a very difficult track. I remember um, quite befitting. Uh, I would put this into another B tier again. I realized while I was listening to this too that I completely mixed this up. So this, the one that I, the original SNES uh, version I threw up onto B tier, B tier, sorry. This is actually the remake from Marker 8. That's the image from there. This is the original. And I would put this just right behind um, the GBA version. This is where I go. So that's kind of a mistake. Now I've corrected it. All right, let's continue. Next up, we got... We have, oh, we're, I think I guess we're touching on Mario Kart Double Dash. Let's go. I'm, I'm not going to say anything before I play this. Let's let the music speak to, speak to itself and we'll talk about it after. Like right off the bat, it gets into this hype melody. Like, you've made it to the top of the world. And now this is your victory lap. I don't know if the track is the best one, but the music... It is so good. <laughs> ah. 
right. Uh, <laughs> I really want to put this into S tier, but we'll save it for the very best. We'll make a decision at the end. That's that's absolutely like if it's not for me, make saving stuff for the very end. That's an S tier for me. So I'll throw this into high A tier. All right. Um, that's enough said. I I can't. The, the, this speaks for itself. Marker DS is next. And um, Marker DS, uh, disclaimer, so that was actually the first Marker game I've played. I've played all the other ones, but only either the remakes or I've gone back and tried the retros myself without completing all the CCs. So Marker DS was the first actual game I played as a kid a lot, um, back when I got it, back in 2005-2006. And um, I remember I was the, playing, spending a lot of time and hours, it's very nostalgic, so let's go right into it. Marker DS, let's go. Again, it starts off very hype. Very, very interesting melody. It's different from the previous one. I don't know if it beats it, but it's very memorable. Yeah, the, symph uh, the symphonizers are doing master god's work in this track uh, uh if i want to say it correctly and uh, it's got a lot of you know backbeat to it um th those drums and those other symphonizers hitting the back a lot i don't know what those instruments are per se but it really does add emphasis to the whole track itself and provides those transitions for the main melody to take place so and by by itself, uh, the track is also really fun. It's got you know the whole loop de loop, and then it's got the other like I don't know what you would call it, but kind of like side spirals. I don't know what you would call it. Um, pardon me, but anyways, going back to this, I would call like I would put this into like a high B low A in terms of if we're weighing most of the emphasis uh, on the track, like the sound music, the soundtrack itself, the music. I'd throw this in a high B. I'd throw this in a high B. For now. Marco Wii is next. Oh man, I love the drums in this one. I don't know if the melody is the main best part about this track. I feel like it's the drums in the pack. They're very, very conspicuous. Also, I love how you can see Planet Earth, the actual Planet Earth in the background. Yeah, uh, I think we can stop right there. Listen to over a minute for this one too. So yeah, um, this track again, like I think it does fit the criteria of it. You know, if you're on top of the world, you're literally on top of the world over, over the world. You're taking your final victory lap. This is your celebration song. This is um, the final road, just one more step until you finally get to the finish line and end your races. Um, it's it has that sort of melody. I just don't know if that melody is as memorable as that you know N64 and Double Dash soundtrack that you saw heard. I would throw this again, and it's kind of like a B. God, there this like right. I would put this right before the DS version. They're kind of neck and neck. The DS and the they have their own respective different melodies, um, which are really catchy and really 
very nice and blush. It's just hard to like put this into A tier and above. So yeah, let's uh, listen to the next one here. Next is Margaret Seven. And if I recall, this is the song uh, soundtrack where the original melody comes back. Yeah, Kenta Nagata, who uh, composed the original melody, comes back for Mark R7 and incorporates that same beautiful melody. Great return. And I love how they, they incorporated planets. Like you're writing, I think, on top of Saturn's rings and the moon in this one, in the track. Really cool. It does a lot of build-up, like it's a full minute before the actual melody hits. So I'm gonna listen all the way until the actual melody is done first. Here it goes. And this track has everything too. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop there. This is... <laughs> Which one is this? It's this one. This is... Man, I don't know if it beats the original Double Dash version, to be honest. It is, this is very good. It's right up there. It's like, I'll put this in between 64 and Double Dash for now. It's so good. Okay. Um, and also, oh, there's... all Right before I finish, there's also the Moon version for Margaret 7, uh, the Rainbow Road. I'm gonna quickly listen to a few... Like half a minute of that. So good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'll keep it where it is for now. Um, we can go back to it later if we change our, have our change of heart. All right. Um, next up we have four left. So we have SNES Rainbow Road for Mario Kart Seven. So that was the original remake. I accidentally threw into B tier at first. Let's listen to this again. See if this is an improved version. It's a really fast track. A very difficult one, again. Like, no railings, it's so hard. Alright, so I've moved the original SNES version to this uh, to C tier. The Mario Kart 7 version is, in my opinion, at least subjective opinion, a better improved version, definitely for sure. I even feel like it's better than the GBA um, Super Mar uh, Super Circuit version of its Rainbow Road edition. So yeah, because uh, we need at least something in the C tier, right? And I don't want to offend people saying like, oh no, I don't want this track in C tier, you're so stupid, blah blah blah. Again, like we need something in there. We just don't want to leave it blank. Otherwise, this tier list wouldn't even be that fun, would it? Like we want controversy uh, ultimately from the outcome of this video. So, uh, moving on, Rainbow Road Mark Eight. Yeah,
Man, this electric guitar in here is so interesting. The lead guitar really throws you off a little bit when you hear it first, like, whoa. That's a very beautiful melody, too. Like, the interchanging uh, sounds between uh, whatever that- I think it's a, like a flute or something, and the electric guitar. Very interesting dynamic. And they added an like, extra beat to the next round of melodies. It's more background beat now. Alright, I'm gonna stop there, otherwise it wouldn't be that fair for the other tracks if I listen to more. Yeah, um, I like the main melody. Uh, it's kind of in that range of like the high B tier range for me. I, I'm not super greatest big fan of the main track itself like the design of the track because it's very techno based um it's reflective of the electric guitar also being the main lead melody player of the song it's very technical based um it's very futuristic it's not my favorite uh the design it's very fun to play for sure i would say it's this one right yeah i would put this around maybe like high B tier. Like I would put this right in front of the SNES uh, remake from Market 7, but then right behind the DS and the Wii versions. I think that's where I would put it. Um, I don't know. Like the electric guitar is very, I like you know, it's very polar. You can a lot of people would probably like it. A lot of people aren't big fan and not big fan of the kind of the techno futuristic design that you've seen. But yeah. Anyways, uh, now we have the N64 remake from Market Eight, and then finally the SNES Rainbow Road um, remake as well. So there's three SNES remakes. Let's listen to the SNES remake first, and then save the N64 for last. Oh. It's amazing how different sounds here for the main same melody I've heard three times now. It just sounds like they're experimenting with so many different sounds. I really like the remake track design though. They kept the like they kept the original track, but it just looks so high quality and the tiles on the the floor just look really cool. Like when you see it at the paint shop, you see the full palette rainbow when you're trying to choose a color. Every shade is there. It reminds me very much like Lego, kind of. Yeah, uh, I think this kind of beats the marker at 7 1, to be honest. Um, hopefully, there's no recency bias in this. I'll throw this like right here. I'm very tempted to throw this GBA into a high C. I'd throw this maybe in the high C for now. Um, it's the thing is the GBA version is also kind of quite memorable. Like it's got this its own distinct melody. That's the that's the problem. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I made my decision. Let's just keep it for now. And finally, we have the N sixty four Rainbow and Mario Kart eight saving questionably the best for last. Let's see. It hits you with the motif right off the bat. Interesting. I have to admit, their remake design for this track, absolutely stunning. And this trumpet. 
Okay, I gotta pause right here. Brass instruments are incredibly loud. I played a brass instrument um, back in my junior high and uh, elementary band, uh, you know, concert band days. I played the trumpet. It is an incredibly loud instrument, as as with all brass instruments. Um, but the fact that they decided to incorporate that to play the main leitmotif of this song, that speaks something. They're emphasizing on how powerful this melody can be uh, throughout the entire track. And brass instruments look no further. They're loud. They're like noticeable. <laughs> can, all right, continue on. <laughs> Oh, and the electric guitar again. I don't remember this. I was too distracted by all the falling off I was doing. And then the brass is back. Oh, and I see her saxophone. I played sax in junior high as well. And that beat in the back. The drums. Like, I don't know what to say. Like, I'm just gonna repeat this real quick here. We go back a few seconds. When they finish near the end of that leitmotif, listen to this. So we're at... Da 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 da. Like it plays, like it's it's running two times, two different instruments to play that melody. I think it says like I'm pretty sure that's like a alto sax as well as the brass playing that melody. Like they're changing, interchanging the tunes. Very great dynamic. There's a lot of high attention to detail put into this soundtrack. Out of nowhere with that random tune too. Yeah, um, I think this is my final list. I'm just gonna go over some of these here. So most of the SNES remakes are kind of like the C or B tier. The original, I would put this in the C tier as my subjective opinion. The GBA version, I'm very, I'm very tempted to throw this back into low B tier. But I guess, you know, it's a high C, low B. There's too many B tier items in here, so that's why I'm just throwing this a high C. Otherwise, this would probably be a low B. Um, and then you have the original Market 8 for the Switch. It's very techno-futuristic based, not my favorite, but I, I, I can understand how some people would love it. Um, and then you have the Market Wii and the DS versions, who ha both have their respective melodies and late motifs of this song, so this is very different from the one that Kenta Nagata originally had, but it's not my personal favorite, so that's why I throw it in a high B. Very, very beautiful tracks, though. Very befitting of a Market uh, track, sorry, Market Rainbow Road track. Very befitting songs too. And finally, in the A tier category, this is where stuff is just, it, it just gets good. Um, you have the original N64, and then you have the Mario Kart 7 remake, uh, or sorry, not the remake, but Mario Kart 7 Rainbow Road track, but that has the original melody in it, incorporated in it. Very, very good. It even has a Moon Edition. I'm very attempted, uh, tempted, sorry, to throw this into an S tier 2. It's like very borderline right there. Um, and then finally, you would just have the original N60, oh, sorry, the original Double Dash version, the original Double Dash version. Like, it's very hard to beat uh, this track. It's incredibly hard. You listen to it and you'll understand why. The entire track is catchy with original melody in there. And then finally, the Rainbow Road um, 
remake from N64 because oh my goodness, you listen to it, you realize the the number of different dynamics and instruments that have been incorporated into the song. It blows my mind. It's really good. Like you would think, like you'd listen to this and you're like, this is some sort of concert theme. This is some sort of concert orchestral performance that doesn't fit into some sort of Mario Kart track. But then you play it, and then it does, and it's really cool. Okay, um, I have half an hour of footage that I need to edit, so let's wrap this video up for now. Um, I've reacted to a lot of different tracks, so thanks again, guys, for watching my video. Le please like, comment, subscribe, leave your opinions and your own different top 11 or top 12, I don't know how many tracks there were, in the comments below. Please do check out my light novel publishing journey as well, so I'm raising pre-sales uh, for my light novel currently. Um, that campaign ends soon but if it does end by the time you watch this video please do check out my twitter follow my twitter and follow for updates for my light novel it's coming out fall 2022 and again like comment subscribe i will see you guys again soon bye bye